is up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today what I wanted to do is something very real very raw very unedited and what most people will like never share and that is literally what is in my travel bag what's in like my everyday bag that I have not looked through yet it's just what I've thrown in there I have no idea what's in here it's just gonna be I'm sure we're gonna find treasures and there's gonna be parts of me that we uncover because it's just what's in my purse. So if that's something you guys want to see, then just keep watching. All right, so what I figured we would do was just hang out in my room, have a little, is it almost margarita o'clock? I feel like we're getting close to margarita o'clock. Just having a little cuppy of water right now. So what I have here is my bag. This is the bag that I've been using all year to travel with. I have my scarf on the top and everything in here that I always travel with, that I have with me all the time. But here's the thing, I haven't like taken anything out. I haven't even looked at it. So we're just going through this. Like you're gonna see it all. The only thing that I know is not in here is my wallet, which is downstairs, which I guess I could go get, and my camera, which I'm on. So I always travel with this camera. It's my Canon camera with my little tiny microphone that like unfolds and fits in my purse. So my, my camera as well as the microphone and the batteries and everything literally can fit into like a tiny little purse. And that's why I travel with it. And that's why I love this camera. So you guys always ask about my camera stuff. I will link it, but I figured that I would go through this. And if you guys really want to see my wallet, we can add that to it as well. So obviously my phone is in here all the time. Um, I was literally just like answering comments on Instagram. And I just noticed that like the buttons for this phone case, the volume buttons are like on the side in, which is pretty cool. First thing that's in here, I always travel with like a little blanket type of pashmina thing. It just helps with like flying and comfort. I don't know where this one's from, but I will figure it out and link it for you guys, but it's very pretty. I feel like it's from Garage. Love, okay. Oh my gosh, at least it's organized. Like I'm not, I'm not super embarrassed by the state of my purse right now. I guess we'll just start on like one side and work our way through. Okay, this, al this actually always comes with me. So this is a passport holder that I got at <laughs> Sandals. Uh, during our trip to Bahamas, we went to the Exumas, which was beautiful. And I got this and I was like, why am I'm never going to use that? Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Yeah, we're going to uncover. Okay, first of all, I still have like my boarding passes from our last flight to Orlando to Ottawa. Shocker. Seats 2F, window, Hublot, Angie and Andre Belmer. And then our passports, our little Canadian passports. Okay, here's the embarrassing part. See, this is the thing. Whenever, oh my God, there's more flights in here. Oh, and money. That's the best feeling when you find American. Babe, I found our American money. This is a bunch of ones and a couple tens. Okay. Put this in a safe spot. It's probably just gonna go. Okay, and then I have Delta, Orlando to Detroit. <laughs> Orlando to Detroit. What is this? Ottawa to Orlando. Everything is Orlando. Ottawa to Orlando. Ottawa to Fort Lauderdale. Okay, this is the funny part. You guys, I literally, when I, I, I find like flying airport life, like I get really creative, okay? And also it either includes cocktails or my medicine to fly, which I think is in here, so I will share it, but I get really creative. And I also think that I'm genius and I came up with an idea and I was like, I wrote it down in a napkin. Now, that I may in a year be laughing and be like, wow, that was a million dollar napkin, but I kept it. I'll tell you guys what I was, I was me like, I'm not gonna tell you. I have a goal to like create a planner and I wrote out all my ideas and why my planner would be better. So we're just gonna keep that in my passport holder. What's wrong with me? <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna keep the money in there too. Oh my God. Angie, no. And don't, okay, I'm gonna throw out the tickets but we're gonna keep the passports. Cause you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna go for our next flight and I'm just gonna be like, where are the passports? I'm gonna be like, oh, I was filming and I don't know where I put them. <laughs> okay, next, book. This is the best. I talk about this all the time. And whenever we get into like our, like New Year's type of videos where we talk about like resolutions, goal setting, you guys are gonna hear me yammer about this, but I love this book. It's called Your Best Year. And this is the final draft. So she had one for like 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. I think this might've been the 2019 one. Either way, love it. And you basically like map out your entire year, but the parts that are like written, like the book part of it are very knowledgeable and very fascinating. And I feel like every time I read it, I learn so much about myself. 
love. Okay, this is, I've talked about this a couple times now. I love this thing. It's like a little insert that you can switch from purse to purse. I'll link it for you guys. It's, I think it's made for a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but it doesn't matter. I think it could fit in anything. And it has all these compartments and I'm telling you it's the greatest thing ever to travel with. So, okay, I'll just pull this out and we can go through. So I have a Mickey keychain because it just makes me happy. Okay, there's nothing on the outside pockets. These are the best. Andre talked about these forever and I was like, really, could they really be that good? If you, I've talked about this in terms of flying anxiety, if you suck at flying, which I used to, I'm so much better now, these will make the world disappear. It's like the best noise canceling headphones ever. I used to have Beats, these are Bose, I think they're called the Quiet Set. Amazing, Andre has them in black, I have them in silver. Love them. My little mini Mouse pouch, <laughs> I don't know what's in here. I have a lot of pouches. Oh, cause I just like, I divide everything. So in here I have little mints. I have, and these are like antibacterial mints. I have one single bandaid, three, three little mini highlighters. Oh, you guys, I was gonna say y'all. Angie, stop saying y'all, you're Canadian. Always travel with earplugs. You never know when you're gonna need them. There could be a crying baby next to your hotel room. You could be on a plane with a crying baby. You could be, there could be many crying babies in your surroundings. No, but seriously, like, I've used them before on airplanes and I was like, oh my God, do I have them? I used them once in an airport because I just couldn't deal. And I was walking through the airport with earplugs and no one knew my hair was down. I just was like, I need to be away from the world right now. Very, very useful. Now, okay, see, I told you you were gonna learn more about me. It's my little bag of tricks, such a random array of things. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a couple sunglasses in here. These are by, these are by Diff in a key case. They're very cute though. These are some of my favorite sunglasses. Love, okay. I always wear these. One pair of sunglasses, I know there's gonna be more. I have my Apple pen thingy, which I honestly never use, which was a lot of wasted money. More, more little mints, these are peppermint mints. Just There's like straight up peppermint oil in there. Oh my, it's a small world pen. You guys, I got this like set of pens from Disney and there's like, there's like the Pirates of the Caribbean one. There's, it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. They're like all different ride themes. I thought they were so cute. I couldn't leave them. So I got a bunch of pens. And then this is like a stylus, which really, I don't know why I have that. Birth control pills, which I do not take anymore. I don't know why those are there. Ooh, a mini deodorant. Oh, I love these elastics. You guys always ask about these elastics. They're like a silky with like a tie. Love, these are from Forever 21 back when we had Forever 21. Oh, and the deodorant is the Dove Go Fresh Cucumber. We're getting really detailed right now. Listen, I would want to know. Oh, here's the other Peter Pan's flight. It says, here we go. I did that pretty well. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, we're about to open up my bag of pills. I feel like Lisa Renna in uh, Real Housewives. So I have this was, I was so glad I brought this. So this was my prescription whenever I got really, really sick at the beginning of this year. If you guys were following me on stories, I shared it like, it lasted like two weeks. I never get sick. I got so sick. I got, I must have started out with like allergies and then became a sinus infection. So I had two different doctors come to our room in Disney. It was terrible. It friggin' sucked. But I kept the prescription once I was done with it. Like there was still some left. And I was like, you know what? What if like Andre catches this? He did on our last trip. So I had it and I felt like that helped a ton. Probably not supposed to do that, but whatever. And now I always travel with Reactin. Reactin for me, like if I have allergies, which I don't really have allergies except for in May, but I get post nasal drip. Reactin is the only thing that works. Claritin doesn't work for me, just Reactin. Oh, this is, oh my God. You would think, yeah, Angie, because you needed three packs of gas -X. Three packs. Okay, I will explain why. One's actually a nauseen, which is only sold in the States, but my stomach, I have a really sensitive stomach. This will fix me like instantly. If my tummy hurts, if I'm nauseous, and I'll show you my other tip in a second, which I've actually helped people that are like, either have food poisoning, are extremely hungover, I've helped them. You take one of these, cause your tummy's in shambles, so that will help you. Cause it just eliminates like the bloat and the like, yeah. This, Bonine. Again, you can only get this in the States. I buy it whenever I'm there. It's like an anti nauseant but it won't make you sleepy or drowsy. Listen to me carefully. 
If you are nauseous in any way, if it's nerves, if you're hungover, if you have your period and you don't feel good, take one, take one. I've helped so many people with this. I'm like, I've got you. And they're like, yeah, right. Like literally like food poisoning. And the next morning, like we have to drive home and they're, they can't function. And I'm like, take one of my magic pills. More birth control pills I'm not taking. <laughs> An empty bonine. Oh, I've had this little Tupperware like almost my whole life. My sister gave it to me and I keep Advil and Tums in there. It's a strange thing to do. Oh, I always travel with this now too. Um, I think the reason why I get perplexed whenever I see things is with these, a lot of these things aren't sold in Canada. So this is the white and blue basic mucinex, which the doctor said is like the best thing if you have a sinus infection. So I have all that stuff left over from last time I was sick. More earplugs. These are my flying pills. And it's not like, it's not like Xanax or anything crazy. If you take that, like no offense, I just, I'm not apparently that in need, my doctor said. But I talked, I have a full flying anxiety video. I'll link it down below. But I talked about how I deal with my flying anxiety. It was like, 20 plus things that I do and at the end I said like talk to your doctor and one of the best things I did was I told him and he was like oh my daughter has that and he was like you should be on medication probably to fly and both Andre and I we each take medicine to fly and it just calms us we had like two years ago we both started to get anxious when we flew and now we're like totally fine with it but this helped a ton and then these are my other pills that I got prescribed at the exact same time. This is for when I have my terrible time of the month. My cramps are so terrible that I take two of these a day on day one and day two because it's like not even normal. And then I have a Claritin. And then another Claritin. So that's what's in my little, I always travel with this. <laughs> now you know what's in my bag of pills <laughs> and all of my non-used birth control. Um, I'm not taking birth control because we're trying to get pregnant. I am take not taking birth control because I just didn't want to take another pill and it wasn't helping. But I'm debating starting again just for the sake of not like apparently you can go three months on you can stay on the pill three months straight without getting your period and then that way it's still safe but you don't have to deal with the issues of it because for me it's like it pretty much puts me out of commission. Like I this month I thought I was gonna die. It was not Men are lucky creatures. They don't understand. It's terrible. Terrible. Okay. Let's continue now that you guys know all about my life. More glasses. These are, oh, I love these. These are blue light glasses that I got off of Amazon and they came in a pack of two. So I wear these ones all the time. They're like a clear love and they're like oversized, which I like for my fat head. I always talk about that, but I'm being serious. And then I have this little like bookmark thing. I have a, this in a bunch of colors, but I have like a little teal one and it's for whenever I start a fresh book. So you, friend, should go right here. Okay. Oh, I always have a ton of, like, yeah, there's tons of these. I always have all these little clippies. Little clippies. And I usually get them at Forever 21. Okay, the reason I went, oh, was this. I love these. So Andre bought himself, Andre's my husband, in case you're new here. Andre bought himself, I think they're like $300 from Bose and they're like the wireless buds and he loves them. I can't even figure out how to get them to like stay in my ear because there's like this weird like hook thing that like hooks into like your inner. Maybe my ears are weirdly shaped, but it doesn't work. So I was like, one, I'm not spending $250 and I want them to be pink. And I also want the case to be able to do that. Boop. So they're each like little buds and I got them off Amazon. I think they were like 50 bucks and they work amazingly. This is the charging case. Can we talk about how cute the case is? I love it. And then there's like a little tie thing if you need to tie it and Sometimes if for whatever reason, like this isn't charged and I'm on the airplane or I'm just somewhere, I have these and it has come in very handy, especially recently. The other thing I always travel with is this. I got this off of Amazon and anytime that I'm reading a book that I wanna like take notes, it's better than a post-it because it's like, it's a post-it, but it has a little bookmark thingy and then I can write notes, which maybe would have made more sense than the napkin. <laughs> the napkin seemed more like it had a good story. like. If that idea ever takes off, I could go back and be like, this napkin was the beginning. I don't know. And then a little post-it note. Okay, that's everything that's in the felt. There's still more in the bag. I don't know what this bag is. Oh, my liquids. This isn't supposed to be in here. This is leftover things. 
There's pliers from when I pulled out my extensions on camera. There's a Sharpie. There's leftovers of this machine that I bought, which is really funny. It's like a lip suction tool. It didn't do very much. And then a bunch of bobby pins and a really cute little bracelet that I can see in here. A little beaded bracelet. And then, oh, these, oh, I tell you. This, these elastics, Michaels. I've said this before. If you've never heard me say it, listen carefully. Michaels has the best hair products. Who knew? And then this little bag called Oatmas, which is very appropriate right now. Okay, my liquids bag. I always, yeah, everybody. I was gonna say, does, can, does Canadians? Yeah, everybody does. Through security, I put in my little Ziploc. So I have my Purell, which I don't really use, if I'm being honest. Brightening eye cream, because you know. Actually, you know what? I wanna keep that here. I wanna use that. Oh! Okay, embarrassing. We're just sharing everything today. I don't know if it's just me, but it's always happened. Whenever I drink wine or really anything dark, my lips get like all, it's, em it's embarrassing. So this is called wine block. So you apply it as like a lip balm, apply, drink, smile. Wine block. Before enjoying a glass of wine, apply a dime sized amount onto your teeth. I thought it was for your lips. Oh, I don't get it on my teeth. Oh, next apply to your teeth and then reapply each glass. Okay, so you could put, you can apply it onto your teeth too. Cause I was gonna say, you could just do this with lip balm. Like as I was saying, I was like, you know, I could have just used lip balm. Okay, so, so that it's safe on your teeth. Sure, whatever, I like it, it works. Coconut skin uh, smooth. There's nothing worse than having dry skin on an airplane, like, and you can't fix it. It's the worst feeling. I've been there. It's not fun. So also worst feeling on the planet when you've put on a lip tingling plumper and you are stuck on an airplane and it is like burning the inside of your mouth. That happened to me. The glam glow lip plumping thing. It was like torture. I hated it. Okay. This is by Fab First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I love it. I love this stuff. Okay, this, I don't shut up about this. Apparently I feel like I need a lot of eye creams on an airplane. This is the 100% pure coffee bean eye cream. Amazing. I have it in a full size. Okay, and then I have all my oils and I've, I've narrowed it down to two. This is called the Brave Blend and there's probably patchouli in here. Patchouli just calms me. There's a really good one by Aveda. Oh, this is like orangey. Oh, I don't know if I love that. It used to really help me like whenever I was very, very anxious to fly. Now I'm not at all. I feel like I'm so much better, but I used to sniff all the oils on the planet. And one of the ones that used to really help me was the Aveda grounding one. Oh, this one's awesome. This is a peace oil reassuring blend. I feel like I sound like such a hippie. You guys, I don't sell oils, nor do I represent oils. I just I have way too many of them. <laughs> My friend sells them, so I just buy them from her. Okay. And then I have one little pocket. So this bag was like a pre-loved bag and then it was customized. Oh, I have a discount code for it. I'll leave it down below. It's authentic. I have a discount code for you for an authentic Louis Vuitton. You are welcome. But look, it's like, this is how it came. And I was like, okay, so this was pre-owned and it's like perfect. Like there's nothing, there's even like one little stain in here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, batteries. So I said like that I use this camera. I always have batteries, always have extra batteries. That's fascinating. Two, I was gonna say tampons. What movie is that from? She's like, ooh, the tampon. Two of them in there. And I always buy those like fancy candy wrapper looking ones. And then two, I feel like these make it into everything that I do. Two Jeffree Star lip glosses. So this one is, I love this one. Crystal Kiss. You guys, I'm pretty sure that Andre ordered me the, the mystery boxes. I think, and I want to open them on video. I hope he didn't hear me. I'm pretty sure he did. So pretty. Okay. I think this smells like, it does. It smells like sugary a little bit. Okay. And then this is from, if you guys, if you guys know what this is, you're my peoples, the gloss and this one. Okay. I, I don't love the smell. It smells, but it's just because I don't like root beer. It smells like root beer. It's not terrible. So this is from that new collection that they just launched. Love. You guys, it's a mess. 
The other thing that I always travel with, you need to watch my flying anxiety video, but the other thing I always travel with that's in that bag is a pair of reading socks because they make me feel cozy. And a beanie. I always travel with a beanie. So if you have flying anxiety, I would suggest to watch that video that I was talking about because it will help. But that's not what this was about. This was really just about sharing all the shades of Angie. And now you know. There we are. <laughs> I hope it was entertaining for somebody. Okay, I'm going to go edit, get to work. It was fun hanging out with you guys, though. I love you guys. Thank you for chilling with me. Was Carl behind me the whole time? No. I feel like the light has like dimmed as I've been filming this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the realness, the sit down, the chit chat, the very unedited version of this, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment down below with your thoughts on any, if at all, of this. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed, hit the bell for notifications, make sure that you're following on Instagram as well because that's just a whole slew of behind the scenes, especially on my vlog page. So I have Angie Belmar, which is my main page. Angie Belmar Vlogs is just all videos like this where it's just completely unedited and I just say and do all the things. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.